and today is our tonight's video i'm going to show you how to make a really cool youtube thumbnail so it looks like this the one i've been using for the past week now if you don't know how to do this keep watching this video because you will know how to do it and the app we're using is pixart if you don't know what pixart is you can go on ios and install it for free go to um app store type in pixart and that's what that's what with the first thing will pop up first or just keep watching this video that way you'll know what pixart is so let me have it over to um pixart and let me show you how to make a really cool thing now so it looks like that for you too once you open up pixart you're going to look at the plus icon that's if you're down in the middle of the bottom it's a purplish um plus icon that's at the bottom i don't know if you call it purplish or not anyways if you tap on that it's going to load up your videos and your photos that you have. I'm going to go find the background that I have downloaded. If I can find it, let's see. Give me time. I know it's on here. Oh, here it is. All right. This background I love to use is that one. Now, let me show you how to put an image on there that I like to use for this app. I'm going to scroll over, scroll over to I see Add Photo. I'm going to tap on Add Photo. I'm going to find the image that I want. Now, if you're taking a picture of yourself and if, I'm use, if you want to use your own background, you have to erase the background. That way, if you want trying to use your own um, your self image. Okay, so what I'm going to do is large is really big. Got to enlarge it, and I'm going to put it to where I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. Now, I'm going to add text. What did you see, a little icon down there? This is where you add a text. I'm going to tap on it, and you can say I can tap in whatever I want. I'm going to tap in the word easy. And you can change uh, uh, the sides or the middle or the other side of however I want. For me, I'm going to keep it in the middle. Once you're done with your text, put your check up there, and you see it's really big. What I want to do is um, shrink this really small a little bit. And what I like to do for my text, I like to bend it sometimes so it looks real good. Let's bend it about right there. Oh, I had it there. There we go. We're going to keep leave easy like that. Let's put the word easy right there. Now, what I like to do is add a stroke to it. So I'm going to go over the stroke. Let's put it all, all the way to the end. And you see that stroke is really big. And that's the way how I like the strokes to go like that. Okay, so what I want to do is go over the color. And I like to change the color of that um, word right here. I'm going to try to find a color. Sometimes it's hard to choose. Let's choose this color. Alright, that color is a little better. I'm going to shrink this down just a little bit. Okay, that's good enough. Let's add another text. Let's put in easy you YouTube. I'm gonna enlarge. I'm gonna shrink it small. Bend it to shape. Shrink it a little smaller, and I'm gonna put it right there, right under easy. Now let's go over the stroke. Put a little stroke on it. Okay. Now let's go over the color. YouTube is red, so I'm going to put in red. Mm, I don't like that red. Sometimes it's hard to choose. Okay, let's just keep it like that for now. We'll make your own decisions later. Sometimes I like to put my thumbnails a little out closer to around something. Something like that. Alright, that looks pretty good. Now let's add in one more text. You can put in how many of you want. Okay. Let's add easy YouTube thumbnail. Well, maybe thumbs. Let's try thumbs. I want to shrink it small. And bring it to shape. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to put it right there. Okay. Not really feeling this at all. So what I'm going to do is move the text around. Go back to easy and size it a little bit, a little more bigger. So sometimes it is hard, but that's all right. Okay, I, I, okay, I do like the way how it's looking. Okay, shrink this a little bigger, and nothing a little bigger. 
Okay, that was pretty good. Let's move it over a little bit. Uh, yes, that's good now. Now let's go over the stroke. Put a little stroke on it. All right. Let's go over the color. And let's add... Um, let's add, let's add this color. Easy YouTube thumbs. That's a little better. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna move it around until I get the place where I like it. It is really tricky because sometimes you have to find a place to where you add thumbnails at. Let's see. I'm gonna keep moving this so I straighten it up. Okay, somehow easy. Got back to straight. I don't know how. Um, there we go. Okay. Let's see what, how it looks. Yeah, not really feeling that one at all. Let's see. Let's get it together here. Uh, sometimes pixel art is really hard, but that's fine. Because you, you, sometimes you have to move around to get at the right point that you want to add. Okay, let me see how that looks. Okay, that looks, that looks good. Now, if you want to save it, you want to go up to the top to where it says apply. Tap on apply. And it's going to make your image look like that. Which means your image is done. Once you're done with your image, tap on the next at the top hand corner. And it's going to give you a, a lot of options to save it to. I'm going to save it to my photos. And that's exactly how you make a YouTube thumbnail look just like that. If you want to learn more how to make more content on YouTube videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and follow my notification bell so you don't miss out on future content. Thank you for so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video tomorrow.